The good news, though, only four new cases were reported today, and roughly one third of the state's total caseload has recovered. Since Governor Little issued the stay at home order, churches have shut their doors and have canceled services or streamlined them online. But our Gretchen Parsons tells us how some Catholic churches are in the early steps of reopening. Gretchen. Kim, that's right. Jean Fadness, a spokesperson for the Catholic Diocese of Boise, says during this uncertain time, it's important for people to have a sanctuary, of course, if it's safe. So that's why many Catholic churches within the diocese are slowly and carefully letting a number of people back inside. I think people really miss uh, the peace and the contentment that comes from visiting the church. For nearly a month, Idahoans have been urged to stay inside their homes. And for people of faith, this means no church services unless they're streamed online. But now the Catholic Diocese of Boise is allowing its churches to open their doors for small and spaced out worship. It's opening only for private prayer and devotion, not for church services or any kind of liturgy of any sort. And the parish has to make sure that no more than 10 people are in the building at the same time and that they're observing social distancing. Extra cleaning measures will be taken. They told people what pews they can sit in because they want to be able to wipe down, for instance, the armrest or, or, or the kneeler. How about for older people or for people who may have compromised immune systems and that's not an option for them? How could they still be able to uh, connect with their church? You know, you can contact your your uh, parish and priests may be available to uh, meet a person one on one for confession or to bring communion as long as again safe distancing is allowed. Fadness believes this partial reopen will allow parishioners to get back the sense of peace and calmness that church brings while staying safe and healthy. I mean, we've seen cases of increased numbers of suicide, of abuse, of, you know, where there's just People are anxious, and I think this just gives them an opportunity for sanctuary. Well, Fadness says to contact your individual parish to find out what hours they're open, so that way if you want to swing by and stop in for prayer, you can do that. Kim? Gretchen, a lot of people looking to get back to the fellowship of their yeah. churches. The online services just aren't the same. We, we right. need that kind of face-to-face -face contact. To be yeah. there, that's right. Right. Gretchen, thank you.